We need to talk about this Equatorial Guinea scandal, where over 300 sex tapes were found in the mobile phone of a financial officer in the Equatorial Guinea Ministry. It was said that Mr. Ebang Egonga, the Director General of Equatorial Guinea's National Financial Investigation Agency, was being investigated for financial crime. And in the process of investigating him, they requested his mobile phone and his laptop and, you know, some of his gadgets. When upon they stumbled on a folder that contained over 300 videos of him having sexual intercourse with multiple different women some of these women appeared more than once in this video so it's safe to say he didn't exactly have sex with 300 women in all 300 videos but this is where the internet is going crazy because some of these women in this video were prominent people inclusive of his own brother's wife the president of Equatorial Guinea's sister, his own cousin, and a host of other women, most of whom were married. Even a photograph of him taking pictures with his co-workers circulating, the internet has pointed that out of the eight women in that photograph, he had had sex and made videos with six of them. But this is the thing here. In as much as this scandal is rocking the entire African nation, a lot of these videos were consensual which meant that these women partaking in these recordings were aware that it was recorded. Some of these videos had the women recording themselves for him. So these women in these videos knew what was happening. So it's not like one of those tapes where he had a secret hidden camera somewhere. And to make matters worse, and I think this is where he's going to get in trouble, a lot of the sex tapes he made were done in the ministry building, in the workplace, in this office, car park, and various areas that should have been meant for work. Some others were done at home in a hotel, but most others were done in offices and various aspects. Of the ministry building and the internet right now is divided with this man's scandal many people are saying that since the women were all consensual in this video there was no need for these people to leak this man's private business a lot of people are angry that his, his sex tapes were leaked and put out there to probably destroy his image i mean i can understand that argument because come on if you're looking for something relating to financial fraud and then you stumble upon a sex tape that seemed to be consensual, why leak it? That is not what you were looking for. So it seemed like the people who leaked the video are also being investigated. Maybe they'll be punished for that, but I can also see why the video would be leaked. Given that a lot of these women this man was doing this with had husbands and families at home, including that of the president's younger sister. So if the president's sister is included in his sex tape, I can see why this would play a role in it leaking. Maybe if it was just he and his wife or him and his girlfriend doing this in their private lives, the people would not have been forced or made to push it out. On that thing again that is also being investigated for as regards the scandals, the, the sex tapes, is that in a lot of these videos with these women, it doesn't seem protected. So they are assuming that he might be spreading some sort of disease. So if he's checked and it turns out that he may have one or two STDs or STIs, then he will be in big trouble because he's knowingly doing this to these women and recording it. But in that aspect still, it's still up to these women who are adults to protect themselves. So if these women are willingly agreeing to a sex tape and also willingly agreeing to partake in this act with this man unprotected, why then are they punishing the man? Because they know the risk of what they are doing. If some of them might even have gotten pregnant for this man and given birth to children for their husband that most likely belongs to this man. The sad part is that Mr. Egonga himself is married with six children and this would not look good for his entire generation. This is just awful. And it also made me wonder to what degree, like what did he have to do to persuade these women, these married women with their own life to agree to record this act? It's one thing for these women and this man to be having affairs, cheating, doing it behind the backs of their spouses and their partners. We see it every day on a daily. Nobody's a saint when it comes to cheating. We get it. But to record it, to film it, some of this recording did not even include the man himself. 
Some of this recording included just the women and multiple women without even the man partaking. So this seemed very psycho to me. This seems very... I don't think this man needed to pay for this. It seemed like these people partaking knew what they were doing and really maybe enjoyed doing it. They did not seem under duress. Or did he offer them money? It's possible that he offered to pay them. I would see that that could be the only reason why a married woman would want that. But even if you're offering to pay them, at least make effort to cover your face. But that wasn't done. These people did this with their face showing. I guess their only hope and confidence would be that maybe since the man himself is married with wives and kids, he knew releasing that tape would also risk and destroy his own career and his own family. I guess this is what happens when you're doing something with somebody of a higher power. You assume that they have just as much to lose, so they would not allow that sex tape to come out. But unfortunately, this is what I've always said as far back as I knew myself. Once you record yourself doing something, there is a chance that it will come out. So if you don't want your sex tape to leak, don't record yourself having sex. And then when it comes out, you're going to hear a lot of these women doing, oh, it was a mistake. I made a mistake. It wasn't a mistake when you were holding the camera. It wasn't a mistake because you pressed record. It wasn't a mistake because you had multiple videos with this man. At what point was it a mistake? You weren't high. You weren't drugged. You weren't, there was no gun to your neck or to your head. And they seem to be enjoying it. So when you come out with the bullshit, oh, it was a mistake. Oh, I, I made a mistake. I regret it. No, you knew what you were doing, ma'am. A lot of marriages will be destroyed. A lot of homes will be destroyed with this man's scandal. And the thing is, his own home will stay intact. And he's a man, so the world is going to be lenient towards him. People are going to hear him and call him champions. While the women who did this, the married women who did this, we called whores and names that just degrades them. And some of them might actually lose their marriages. But it's just awful. Like... I don't know how to feel about this. Some part of me feels like, yes, since these people partook and it's not a video of a forceful situation, these were willing partakers, there was no need for it to be leaked. And if the man is done with his fraud case and they found nothing or they find nothing against him fraudulently, then he can pick up another argument and probably sue for them leaking their tapes. That would get him a good stash of money because let's face it, with the sex tapes, he did not commit any crime. Yes, indecent behavior in a workplace, but that is not a crime that needs to go to court. I guess you fire him or let him pay fine. However, him having his privacy being leaked out by people who were looking for something else, that also could be something that need to be investigated. It seemed to me that somebody knew about it. I feel like you cannot just do this with 300 women and no other person knew about it. I feel like words were already getting around and people were already suspecting. And I feel like somebody knew that he had all of these tapes somewhere and then they created this narrative that they needed to investigate him to check. I feel like the people who were checking his phone to investigate him for fraud were not looking for fraud. They were looking for those tapes. Because if you are looking for fraud, I don't know why you're going to where there's videos locked. If those places are showing videos, what do you need them videos for? Check accounts, check uh, transactions. That is where money is. In a video file, you don't see money there. So they went there because they know what they were looking for. Oh my God, 300, 300. That might be videos spanning over three to four, five years, if you ask me. And then again, with his brother's wife, with his own cousin and the president's sister, Ah, uh, Mr. Man, I'm not going to judge the fact that the people who were in this video with him were willing participants. I don't think he did anything wrong. I don't think so. I don't feel so. The only thing he may have done wrong was to record it. And that usually comes out eventually. It always leaks. It always comes out. Why is he keeping them though? Is he using them for later some people just have weird personal ish i don't know but you guys let me know your thoughts let me know how you feel about this story don't forget to like share subscribe and turn on your notification button so whenever there is an update you'll be the first to get notified